Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back once again with our Tinkercad Jet Airliner. I've got some sweet updates, so let's get cracking. So if you haven't already built this, I'll have a link up above that you can click so you can get this built because you need one just like this for this part to work out. If you look up there in the corner, you will also see a link for Caleb. Uh, he was the first one that showed me these movable parts, and it's what makes this project so epic. All right, friends, so the trick works like this. Click on your wing and hide it. We are going to set the work plane on the end of the aileron and then bring out a cylinder. I want you to hold down shift and I want you to shrink that and type the number four. When we move this out, we're going to put it right on that edge where it would rotate. That is how an aileron will work. I'm going to look at it from a corner and I'm going to change its length quite a bit. I want you to type 50 so it's out here near the edge. Now I want you to set the work plane on the end of that shape we just made and then scroll down and find the tube. When you set the tube on that work plane, you'll see that it's out on the edge, but we want to align them. I'm gonna draw a rectangle that only touches those two, click align, make the small one the master. I'm gonna look at it from this corner so I can find the middle dot and the middle dot. I'm gonna click on the shape and I'm gonna change its radius to 15 so it's a little larger. I'm going to make the wall thickness 1. I'll make the side 64 just because I think it looks cooler when it's round. And then once again from the corner, I'm going to change the thickness instead of 10 to 1. I'm going to click on the original post and hit delete. I'm going to grab those two items. Notice it says two shapes and I'm going to group them. And friends, let's put the work plane back to the ground bring back our wing and watch this. If you click on the aileron and rotate that handle, your aileron actually moves. You can look at it from a different angle and see it. There's your rotation handle. It shows up right above it, which is really slick and it gives us movable ailerons. I'm going to make them look a little cooler by changing the color, something really, really bright. And then I'm going to repeat the process on the other side super fast. Once again, hide the wing, work plane, click that post, bring out a cylinder, hold down shift and shrink it. And once again, I'm going to tell you to type four and press enter. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it close to the front of that aileron. Then I'm going to zoom in and get a better look at it. When I think it's in a perfect spot and you can adjust your grid to get it more perfect, I'm going to stretch it out to 50 move to the end of it, put the work plane on the end of it, bring out a tube, change those numbers to 15, one, and the sides to 64. Once again, I'm gonna grab just those two pieces, hit a line, click the center to make it the master, middle dot and middle dot so that it's lined up click somewhere else, delete that little post that we had temporary, and put size one for the thickness. Let's grab those two, group, pick that cool color, and you could make them separate colors. Bring back our wing, set the work plane on the ground, and friends, you have got an adjustable aileron on both sides of your aircraft. If you go way out, it goes one degree at a time. If you stay close to the shape, it snaps to those 22 and a half degree measurements. I'm gonna repeat the process back here, but let's see if we can make it even faster. First, hide, work plane, post, add a cylinder, squeeze it to size four, nudge it into place and I don't mind that it's a little thicker as long as the center is on the center that works out perfect this time I'm gonna stretch the distance out to 30 but I'm gonna go from an angle so I can see it these will be closer than the other ones once again work plane 
bring out the tube. This time I'm going to do a radius of 12, so it'll be a little smaller. I'm going to set the wall thickness to 1, just like it was. Sides to 64. I'm going to make it 1 millimeter thick. Then we need to align those two pieces by clicking Align, picking the master, choosing middle, and choosing middle. Delete that part, and then this time I'm going to shift click. Hold shift, and click the second one. Still two shapes and group. And then just because it's fun, I'm going to pick a cooler color. I'm going to give you a bonus skill right here because I believe you are getting talented. First, hit the work plane and do duplicate. Nudge it to the other side. And friends, I want you to simply hit flip and click this. Now take your yellow one and once again use the arrow keys to line it up with the gray elevator. Hide our new one, click the old one, hit delete, and my friends, boom, you have just got both elevators individually set up so that you can adjust them as needed. All right, friends, let's take care of the rudder really quick. Uh, we can help ourselves out by selecting all these pieces and hiding them. And I'm also going to hide the purple piece, and just because it doesn't hurt anything, I'll hide this as well we need to set the work plane and I'm gonna set it on top just because I found that to be easier with this and I'm gonna bring out that cylinder I'm gonna hold down shift and shrink it a little and then I'm gonna type the number four from this top corner I'm gonna grab that height one and I'm gonna stretch it to 50 remember you can click and type to get the exact number and then I'm going to align these when I hit align we make the gray one the master and we want to make sure we pick middle and then you can pick back and then I'm gonna push it down through so that it is underneath it doesn't matter that it's connected because remember we're gonna delete it in a minute hit the work plane put it underneath there bring out your tube it'll drop to that spot because of the angle it's easy to change that size to one Let's make this 15 again, wall thickness 1 again, and side 64. And then grab those two and do a line. Click on the center post and make sure you hit center and center. If you switch to top view, you can see pretty easily that that is centered, especially when you hit fit view. And then you can click that post and you can delete it. I'm gonna go back to that top view and grab both those items. Note it says two shapes selected and I'm gonna group them. And then I'm gonna pick a new color for that. I'm gonna make it a cool green. When we hit show all and bring everything back, I'm gonna hit the work plane and bring it back and check it out. We have got rotatable rudders, elevators, and ailerons. How cool is that? Real quickly, if you want these pieces closer together, watch this. If you double click, it goes into edit mode and then you can click on the parts you want to move and you can use your arrow keys to get it so it lines up just the way you want. It'll still function just the same. It just makes it look a little more like you were planning what you're doing. Just for fun, let's add some cool windows to our airliner. We're going to do a little bit of trickeration here. We're going to bring out a box so that our windows are flat. I'm going to make it nice and tall, set the work plane there, and then we're going to simply bring out the cylinder hole and attach it to that shape. Shrink it down. I'm going to say that a good number is eight, but I'm going to make it crazy long so it pokes all the way through. And then when we let go of our shape, I'm going to delete this and I'm going to push it back through the aircraft. I'm going to hide the wings real quick so I don't accidentally cut them. I'm going to set the work plane back down to the ground and then this friends is one of my favorite tricks. Control up to get the exact height. Control D to make a duplicate. Nudge with the arrow keys. Get it to the gap you want and then do not touch anything else and just hit Control D and it copies that same distance all the way down as far as you want your windows to go. When you're done, you can see they poke through both sides, and you can simply group 
and you will have an airliner with windows all the way through the fuselage. All right, friends, so at that point, I'm gonna bring back my wings. Notice when you do that, my wings are a little high. We're gonna fix that by just hiding the fuselage, grabbing all these parts, and then I'm just gonna do control down and lower them a little, and then bring them back. I think I could raise them up one millimeter, so I'm gonna hide this again, grab all those, and just do another control up to raise them up and see how I like that. I think that's pretty groovy. All right, friends, so this is where the challenge comes in. If you can find a way to hollow it, you can. Once you get it hollow, you can add seats. You can make a window up here for the cockpit. Uh, remember, if you leave it separate, you could put a transparent windshield up there. You could have seats, you can do scribble pilots. This is where you can start pushing this to crazy limits and then also bring it into Pixlr. I do need you to remember, I need a screenshot. Make sure you get at least this screenshot saved for me. Remember, I always save mine to my downloads folder. Make sure you've got it named and ready for turning in Google Classroom. Alrighty, friends. So I took a moment to actually cut mine out and add a little bit of a windshield. It isn't perfect, but as you can see, that does have potential. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.